Have you ever been so absolutely so matter-of-factly destroyed or outperformed by another player to the extent that you're left wondering how you're such a gigantic, pathetic excuse for a player? Well, maybe you're just bad, or maybe you had something like this happen to you. Quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. Every individual patron is proof that at least someone likes me. That way, I can show my mother when she tells me that I have no friends. Yeah. And it, it helps support us too. RF Online is a sci-fi MMORPG. It has been online since 2004, almost two decades now. It has shut down, it has reopened, it has transitioned from publisher to publisher over in the West. But this instance right here is the first time anything like this has ever been openly confirmed or elaborated on. On the 11th of February, the CEO of CCR, developer for RF Online, announced that ongoing allegations of insider item trading within the MMO were true. This is not the first time that this has happened within the MMO genre, but it is something that definitely isn't very well documented. Typically, companies rather keep these types of situations from the public, as it could potentially have cataclysmic side effects and consequences for not only your game, but also your entire company. But how did we even become aware of this, and how long had inside item trading been going on? Well, a player recently raised the issue when they realized that there were an abnormal rate of items being distributed via an item trading website. For people that don't understand what that is or what that means, there are a variety of different websites available online that allow players to sell items that they obtain in-game, to sell in-game currency that they earn in-game, to even sell their entire account for real money. Yes, people are really that lazy and are actually incapable of leveling characters themselves or grinding for gear or for items. They just want that instant gratification. Companies typically don't allow these types of sales to take place legally, so websites like these were created as a means with which to connect buyers and sellers online. This user happened upon an item and <laughs> I honestly question how exactly they happened upon this item in the first place if they were not already looking to purchase it via an online sale like this, or at least purchase something from the website. But you know what, I digress. I'm not here to point fingers, even if it is a little sus. The user happened upon the item being sold at a lower price than the market price, and proceeded to purchase it directly. After receiving the item, the player went on to report the sale directly to the CCR team. After an extensive internal investigation into the origin of the items listed on the website by CCR, the report was confirmed to be valid. And that is when things get a little bit more interesting. An unnamed member of CCR staff had recently left the company, but before they did, they had made a plethora of different expensive, powerful items that they knew they could sell for a large sum of money. They then proceeded to trade the items directly into their account without the knowledge of any of the other staff members that operate and manage RF, which, you know what, actually goes to show the competence, or incompetence rather, of the company if they had no idea that this was even going on behind the scenes until someone reported their staff were doing it, right? Did they just not monitor the activities of their staff members? After confirming the activities that had transpired, CCR imposed permanent sanctions on every related account. This meant that every account that had purchased any of the items that were created by the individual before their departure were now under investigation as well and were completely locked. They began looking into connected accounts in an attempt to confirm the addition of other crimes. CCR then went on to report all of the information pertaining to not only the staff member, but also users that they confirmed were engaging in additional illegal activities to their law firm and began the legal process. It seems as though CCR confirmed that they would be re-examining the details of separation of privileges for operation tools while conducting a full investigation of the entire usage history of operation tools, then reapplying item-related privileges only to the top 
top administrator. What this means is that they plan on making it so only the highest tier developers are given rights to create items, and that they are doing a full investigation into how the tools have been used up until this point to see if other instances of this may have happened. Which, you know what, wouldn't actually surprise me. The CCR official was quoted as saying, as the matter in the content is very important, we will proceed with stronger punishment for the relevant personnel. Which does not bode well, given they have given all the information already to their law firm, court battle incoming. Now, the fact that things like this happen is actually kind of a scary thought. You can log into a game one day, and someone might have better gear than what is actually legally obtainable, simply because they had the funds to pay for it via illegal trading websites. I'm glad CCR have dealt with this, but I'm sure this happens all the time, and I'm shocked that this is one of the few instances where it's actually documented. Abuse like this is harmful to the game's economy, and it goes to show how poorly managed this game is. You know what's not poorly managed though? This game right here.